Hey, this is the Weather Extreme video. This is for Monday, the 12th of November. I'm James Spann. Wet, turning cold today. A little miserable. Let's get in there and talk about it. We'll check some of the Skycam shots. These were captured at the insane hour of 5 a.m. And uh, there's a look at downtown Jasper where a steady rain is falling. There's the Skycam in Hamilton up in northwest Alabama. Pretty much the same deal. A good rain as uh, temperatures there are about to plunge as the cold front is moving in. And that's one of our Shelby County sky cams. That's the one on the campus of the University of Montevallo. No rain so far, but by the time you watch this, it should be raining at that site. Very impressive trough moving in from the west. And that's providing the showers and storms today and also pushing down the coolest air so far this season for much of the nation. Now, around here early this morning, it's uh, pretty mild. Those were at 5 o'clock, but those numbers will probably be the high today. Birmingham at 64. Uh, temperatures will be falling through the 50s, and by the time we uh, hit mid to late afternoon, we should be in the 40s. Note that Oxford, Mississippi is in the 40s right now, so uh, not the best of days. In fact, look at that. This is the coldest air so far this season, easily. Uh, temperatures this morning are below zero up on the Canadian border. And, of course, they got a big old snow blanket. I mean, it is like the dead of winter up there. And a good chance we see a freeze tomorrow morning. That's the radar is the way it looked at uh, 5 o'clock. And at that point, the rain was just moving into the Birmingham metro. And you can kind of pick out that fine line uh, near Columbus, Mississippi. That's the actual front. It's about to push into Pickens County. And again, by the time you watch this, the rain will be farther east and uh, the cold air is going to be flooding in. Here's our watch warning map. Uh, and again, no severe weather. That's the good news for us. Uh, we've got freeze warnings up for parts of Oklahoma, Arkansas, Texas, even a hard freeze warning down into southeast Arizona for tonight. And some winter uh, weather advisories up in the northwest. But uh, generally speaking, nothing too extreme around the nation on this 11-12-12. Uh, there's the convective outlook. Green means just thunderstorms, no severe weather. And the rain for the next five days, valid through Friday evening at 7 o'clock. And, of course, all this is going to come today. Uh, rain amounts of about one-half to three-quarters of an inch showing up here. And after today, we'll be dry for a while. We'll check modeling. This is the GFS, the global forecast system, valid at noon today. This is the 06Z run. And the level here is 500 millibars, about 18,000 feet up. And there's your trough down below that. There's your batch of showers and storms. And uh, that's the deal, just kind of cold, wet, and miserable. Temperatures falling today. And again, we think we'll be in the 40s by mid to late afternoon. Tomorrow, we start the day, I think, below freezing. The GFS is showing 30, and considering the uh, snow depth to the northwest and the strength of the air mass, I think that sounds pretty good. So a freeze to start the day. And uh, the high should be in the middle 50s. Wednesday morning will be cold again. We'll be well down in the 30s. Uh, the high Wednesday afternoon around 60 will be dry and sunny. There's Thursday. Again, we'll be dry with low 60s. And Friday, maybe mid 60s. Just a gradual warm up each day this week with chilly mornings and uh, fairly pleasant afternoons by the end of the week. All right, weekend warriors, what about Saturday, you ask? Note that big trough on the South Atlantic coast, also a trough in the southwest. Around here, the day should be fine, though. A Saturday looks good, partly sunny with mid-60s. But in response to the upper trough, a new low develops off in the Atlantic, just offshore. And then Sunday, that thing is awfully close to the outer banks with an onshore flow coming into uh, uh, the tidewater in the mouth of Chesapeake Bay. But around here, Sunday looks fine. Uh, lots of sunshine with low 60s. And a week from today, another nor'easter-type feature is bothering our friends up in Long Island in New Jersey and the uh, New England coast. But our day Monday of next week looks good. Now, next week, you know, is Thanksgiving week. Hey, hey, where's the time gone? Let's take a look at the uh, big travel day. This is Wednesday of next week, uh, the day before Thanksgiving, allegedly the biggest travel day of the year, according to some. Kind of a high-amplitude pattern, but we have ridging here, so I think if this is correct, and that's a big if, we all know this could change. This is out in the land of voodoo, but this is the day before Thanksgiving. We would be dry and mild. Showers and storms are possible over Arkansas, Oklahoma, parts of North Texas. Snow maybe for parts of the Dakotas and Montana. Uh, kind of uh, wet and maybe snowy back on the Pacific Northwest coast. And a low in the Atlantic should be far enough away to kind of get the effects out of there, maybe in time for that day for the Northeast. Uh, Thanksgiving Day, if this is correct, that would suggest a chance of showers, maybe some thunder for North Alabama, but nothing severe. 
and Black Friday, the day after Thanksgiving. Again, if this is right, the weather would be mild and rather showery here, but nothing severe. We'll check the end of the forecast, 27th of November. Kind of a strong west and northwest flow aloft, and if that's right, the weather would be cool and dry. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog next video here by 4 o'clock or so this afternoon. And don't forget to watch us on ABC 3340 if you can at 4, 5, 6, and 10 on the live stream or the television side. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless. Does your weatherman have a face for radio? ABC 3340's James Spann may be hair challenged, but he sure is entertaining, especially when he teams up with everyone's favorite radio duo, Rick and Bubba. From the radio airwaves to the small screen, it's the Rick and Bubba TV show five days a week. Watch Rick and Bubba along with ABC 3340 Chief Meteorologist James Spann, Monday through Friday from 6 to 10 a.m. on the Nashville Network, provided by ABC 3340.